made me. And guess what finally came in? Let's see if it was worth the wait. Um, on the outside here it says it has a uh, graphic novel. So we'll see what that is. And it says like uh, rated 18 and up. So this is an extra spicy box, I guess. Oh, look. It's Sam. Wish I'd had it for Halloween. I would have worn it for Halloween. Perfect. I don't know if I'm going to get away with wearing this, you know, to Thanksgiving dinner. So, same thing in the box. Uh, something for Evil Dead 2. Don't quite know what that is. Let's take a look. Where's my knife? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's cute. Oh no. Oh, I take it all back. It was worth it. This is worth it. This alone is pretty worth it. That is adorable. And it's actually got a lot of detail. I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but that alone is pretty much worth the price. Um, this is a little flimsy, so um, if you want to put it up permanently, I would put a little dash of super glue in there just to make it a little bit more sturdy. These guys are on pretty well, though. So. That's fun. Oh, wait. Not done. I forgot something. It is with the door hinge. That's... that's gnarly. Um, I'm, I'm digging what I got so far. Yeah, it was a long wait. And yeah, you guys do need to actually get your, your crates out before they're supposed to be there, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure November's crate's gonna be here in December, but it's a season's cratings crate, so it's like for the holiday season, it's got like Krampus in it and stuff. So that makes a little bit more sense, but you know, opening up a Halloween crate in November is not fun. Just, just let me know. Oh, no, you're living dead. Oh, it's a pillowcase. Oh, it's got Barbara on the front. So it's got Barbara on it, and it looks like a video cake, like a like a VHS tape. Hello. Let's see it down here. I'm going to put that on a pillowcase and show you later. That is that is pretty cool. You know what? It's a good thing I'm laying in bed. I didn't actually plan to be doing this in bed in order to do the the pillow thing, but I'm kind of glad I did now. So let's see. Awesome. Zip that up. One of my favorite dates I've ever been on with. Josh is seeing the Rift Tracks version of Night of the Living Dead, which is hilarious. So if you ever get the chance, um, either see it on your own or go and see the Rift Tracks version if you're like not necessarily into old black and white horror and just kind of want to giggle at something, fine. That's a good way. But it is a good movie on its own as well, so I like recommend that. Awesome t-shirts. They won't stay dead. I don't know, I don't know what it's kickstarting, but apparently there's a Kickstarter for something Night of the Living Dead related. I'll look it up later. And here's why I got this box to begin with. I wanted something from Clive Barker's Nightbreed because you can't find things for that. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I think it's extremely inventive and uh, one of the first videos they made for YouTube was on Nightbreed. So uh, I'll link that in the description as well. But yeah, it's a comic book, guys. They made a comic book. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a graphic novel. Um, and this is volume one. Oh, this is cool. It looks like these are new adventures as well. And it looks like it does focus, like, some of the plot is taken from the movie, but I'm seeing new stuff in here as well. And this is just volume one. Okay, this is neat. Uh, there's something from Crypt TV. Uh, Crypt TV. Oh, 20, there's a 20% off coupon for Crypt TV uh, loot. I do like some of the stuff they've done. Um, the look-see is pretty cool. Um, and I think there's like a cult. I think that's them that does like the, the, the sunny cult or whatever. That's a pretty good show too. Um, so if you're into, if you want to get some creepiness on, a lot of their stuff is out there completely for free just on Facebook. Crypt TV. Alright, and last but not least, the pen, and the pen's actually kind of nice. It looks like it's a mummy. And it looks like these are going to be done by different artists. I can't read that signature and I don't recognize the signature, so I can't tell you who it is. But here's the pen. 
and this is definitely going on the vest or the jacket. So yeah, overall, it's really, really cool box. Got some neat shit in it. I just wish things didn't get delayed all the time. Every time I've signed up for a loot crate, it usually gets delayed a month. And I, having to pay for two crates, I paid for this crate, and then I paid for the next one before I received the first one. It's not fun. You guys put out some great stuff, but, you know, just telling us, hey, we shipped them this day, check with FedEx when people are inquiring. And I saw this all over Facebook, I saw this all over Instagram, anywhere where they were posting about this crate in particular. Everybody was waiting on it. And uh, the responses were basically like, we ship them, check here for what it is. There was no apology about shipping late. Um, a Halloween horror crate should not be shipped five days before Halloween. That should have been done at like the 10th. And I know there were ways to figure out, like if you did research, and I did research, I had to look it up, but I did research and look into um, when they might be coming out. Like, uh, I actually had to go to Reddit to find out that they had been delayed and that those specific uh, boxes had been shipped late, and they would be shipped late around the 24th. Which is fine, but you know, when you're advertising for it, you need to put that in there like, hey, this isn't going to be here before Halloween. We're sorry, it isn't going to be here before Halloween. Don't ask us about, hey, are you excited about this new box when we haven't gotten the last one? You guys are a great company. I love this stuff. This stuff was worth every, every penny I spent on it. I love it. But you have to have a little bit more respect for your customer base. You know? I mean, just, just to keep us coming back, because you're not the only... You're not the only boys in the game anymore. There are uh, horror boxes and subscription boxes for everything now. If you if you want to stay in the game, you want to stay um, in people's minds when they think about getting these subscription boxes every month. You need to be a, a little bit more wary of when you're putting things out. That being said, I am looking forward to November's crate, and I am looking forward to seeing what you do with the smash up between uh, Christmas and Halloween, and uh, specifically horror, because there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. There's a lot of Christmas themed horror movies, a lot of stuff like that, so looking forward to that new box, and I'll see you guys next time.